Indian badminton is on an upswing. When you look at the last one and a half years, India's badminton stars have managed to win titles which were unheard of in the past couple of decades. Thomas Cup's success, which changed the entire landscape of Indian badminton. That was the one particular instance. Recently in Dubai, about a couple of months ago, we saw the Badminton Asia Mixed Team Championships. That was the ultimate pinnacle for Indian badminton also. With every passing year, India's badminton stars are really, really making big headways into the world of the sport. But if there is one thing where they have not conquered, is this upcoming tournament that will be played from May 14th to May 21st at Shuzhou in China. Yes. I am talking about the Sudirman Cup. Forever India has underperformed in the Sudirman Cup because of traditional powerhouses like China, Korea and we may look at it Malaysia and Indonesia. But we all saw that past records with this Indian uh, badminton team do not matter because Thomas Cup, Indonesia and Malaysia were always going to be the ultimate teams but India overcame the odds and managed to ensure that they won the ultimate prize. So, what is the Sudirman Cup all about and why is it so important for Indian badminton? Because the Sudirman Cup is one of the major events that form the part of the badminton calendar. So, if you want to just have a look at the list of what are the big tournaments that badminton has? One is the Olympics. The other is the Thomas and Uber Cup, World Championships, the year-ending World Championships that are played, the All England Championships and the Sudirman Cup. Basically, any player that wins all of this, medals in this, Thomas Cup, Uber Cup, World Championships, All England, Sudirman Cup, they are considered one of the best in the business. Now, in this, I will tell you how did the Indian badminton team qualify and also the history that has plagued this Indian badminton team in this particular competition. Initially, there was a tension and there was a flashpoint whether the Indian badminton players would get the visa to China because of the COVID situation, because of tense relationships between India and China. But after much delay, the Indian badminton team finally got the visa to play the Sudirman Cup in China. It's a 23-member contingent and they will be aiming for, for glory from May 14th to May 21st. This 23-team contingent is made up of the following players. In the men's singles, you have HS Pranoy and Kidambi Shrikant. In the reserves, you have Lakshya Sen. In the women's singles, you have PV Sindhu and then you have Aparna Upadhyay and also you have Kashyap also, one of the upcoming youngsters in the Indian badminton team at that point in time. This, the men's doubles, Satvik Sairaj Rankiriddi, Chirag Shetty, MR Arjun and Dhruv Kapila, they are there in it. When you look at the women's doubles, Trisa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichand are there along with Ashwini Ponnappa and Tanisha Krasto. In the mixed doubles, you have Tanisha Krasto and Sai Pratik. So basically, this is your entire 23-team contingent that will be out to get glory. Now remember, how did India qualify for the Sudirman Cup? We all wondered why Satvik Sairaj Rankiridi and Chirak Shetty's win was epic. It was because of this. India had to finish in the top three in the Badminton Asia Championships, Mixed uh, Doubles Championship. And that is why when Satvik Sairaj Rankiridi and Chirag Shetty broke that jinx, India finally had secured qualification to the Sudirman Cup. There were only three slots and India managed to get the bronze medal. Satvik Sairaj Rankiridi and Chirag Shetty won the gold medal. And that was a brilliant feat indeed for them, which assured them of qualification for the Sudirman Cup. Because they needed a top three finish, Satvik Sairaj and Chirag Shetty's gold medal is now much, much better. And the broader picture, it, proved, it could prove to be very epoch making. Now, what is the format of the Sudirman Cup? Every tie consists of five matches. Men's singles, men, women's singles, men's doubles, mixed doubles and also women's doubles. So, there are five matches in each tie that India will play. So, top two from each group 
they qualify for the quarter finals that's how the structure is so basically five matches they'll play against each other if the team wins 3-0 the other two matches are not needed men singles women singles men's doubles women's doubles and mixed doubles top two from each group qualify for the quarter finals now this is where india's problems might start because already in the sudirman cup badminton india are in group c and it's a pretty tough group because that group has malaysia chinese taipei and australia the inclusion of chinese taipei in group c makes this a very very tough group indeed because look at the names on top tai zuing and cho tian chen cho tian chen has often had success against india's badminton stars and can we say anything more about tai zuing she is the only player who has absolutely dismantled pv sindhu in the past now because of the south pos play pv sindhu is going to find it really really tough the last couple of months have not been very easy for pv sindhu so Tai Zhu Ying and Chao Tian Chen, these two individuals are going to be big, big factors in India's games against Chinese Taipei. And on the other hand, Malaysia, although India may have won 4 1 in the badminton mixed team championships, they still have excellent players in Go Jinwei, Pearlie Tan, and Tinna Murlidharan. Remember, Pearlie Tan and Tinna Murlidharan denied Teresa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichand in the Commonwealth Games. So these two individuals know how to play in major, major events. So India, if they make it from the top of the, from the top two of this group, it will be a massive success indeed. Because Chinese Taipei are one team which will be really, really hell bent on ensuring India do not go through. Now, what is India's Sudirman Cup history? Basically, from 1989 till about 2021, India have always failed to secure qualification. They have not qualified on a consistent basis. But whenever they have done, they have struggled. They have reached the quarterfinals in 2011 and 2017. That has been their best showing in the Sudirman Cup. Saina Nehwal won one encounter against the Chinese in 2011. But unfortunately, the rest of the team could not win and they lost that uh, series 3-1. India were dumped out in 2011 and same happened in 2017. Both the times in the quarterfinals, they lost to China. And that is going to be a very, very significant roadblock because China are the most dominant team in the Sudirman Cup. And that is the reason why 1989 till now, 2021, India has never won the Sudirman Cup. That is the only thing missing in India's stellar badminton history, if you look at it. Prakash Padukone and all have won the All England Championships. Pulela Gopishan's also won it. Olympics, we have secured medals, except the gold medal. Commonwealth Games, Asiad, you have all achieved success. Even if you look at it, the World Championships, PV Sindhu has won. Thomas Cup, you recently won in 2022. Only the Sudirman Cup remains. If you add that list, mixed team uh, Asia Championships, they have done that well there also. So what is the history of the Sudirman Cup? Started in 1989 as a biennial event and it is named after Dick Sudirman who is a former badminton player from Indonesia and is the president and was the president of the Indonesian Badminton Federation. The dominant team is China. And yet again this time China is going to be one of the most dominant teams because their doubles and singles teams are really really strong. They have won 12 titles. That shows China's ultimate dominance when it comes to the Sudirman Cup. Malaysia and Indonesia have often dominated in the Thomas and the Uber Cup. Here it's China. And remember, with the Asian Games scheduled to be held in Huangzhou around September, October, it's going to be a tester. The Sudirman Cup will showcase the depth in Chinese badminton as well as Indian badminton. Now, what is at stake in the Sudirman Cup? Because there is no prize money, only two things, national honor and also ranking points. Whoever wins the Sudirman Cup, all the players will get a big, big boost in their uh, rankings. And also, since there is no prize money, national honor is the only thing that will keep them afloat. So, in that sense, this is the history of the Sudirman Cup. India will be aiming for glory and after that, we will be wondering can India finally scale the summit? 
Thank you so much folks for joining us for this live. We'll be back with more updates on sports today. Tap that bell icon so you know when we go live and don't forget we are on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. Thank you.